Hey, good morning. I'd like to share something with you that happened to us the other day. I think it's an important thing to uh, to get this information out to uh, our viewers, people who travel, and anybody, actually. We uh, don't need an accountant anymore uh, like we did before. We we don't have jobs anymore. We don't have real estate anymore. We just have this RV back behind me. Uh, it's all we want right now. Uh, we've been traveling for five years, and... Uh, I've been making some serious mistakes with my credit cards, and we made a mistake with the online uh, software filing income tax. Like I said, we don't need an accountant anymore. Yesterday, or two days ago, Cindy filed her income tax. Uh, I'm not laying blame. I'm simply explaining to you what happened with the uh, software uh, firm called TurboTax. In, in On that form, we had to uh, put our 401k uh, information on there. Cindy filed it. Within minutes, we got a text from, no, I'm sorry, an email from the investment firm indicating that our 401k password had been changed. We didn't change it. We went online to see if we could... Uh, uh, access our 401k and sure enough it said that uh, you can't because you, it's the wrong password. Cindy immediately called the uh, investment firm and they blocked the account right away. Anybody that knows anything about 401k knows that uh, it takes a while to move money around from that, withdraw it and so forth. And so that's a good thing. So uh, they saw the, um, the investment firm said uh, to, for Cindy to go have her phone cleaned and to uh, change the uh, phone number, which she did change the phone number. She's in Twin Falls right now, having her phone pro professionally claimed by uh, Best Buy. So there's that. Well, after this happened, we decided to go ahead and check our our bank accounts and see what. How about that? You know, is that okay? Well, Cindy decided to go ahead and put a feature on, uh, we have Chase Bank, to put a feature on our account that if anybody uses our credit cards, uh, either one of them, it's the same account but two different cards, one for her, one for me, and that is that, that we would get an alert, a text message that somebody used our credit card. As soon as she hit that feature, activate that feature, I got three texts on my phone. For weeks, somebody has been trying to use our credit cards, our credit card numbers, uh, to purchase uh, fraudulent fraudulent purchases. Uh, one was for $4,500 at Best Buy. Uh, the other one was $399 uh, at, um, uh, no, $4,500 at Sam's Club. And then there was a $399 charge, a decline charge at, uh, at the Best Buy. And then there was another one for $88 somewhere. Well, I got to thinking about that. Anyway, our credit cards, we, we immediately shut those down and they got uh, others ordered, uh, which will be here, you know, in a few days. So I got to thinking about this. How did somebody get my credit card number? I know it possibly how somebody got into our 401k account. Possibly. I, I don't know if that's the case, but possibly. But how did they get our credit cards? I'm going to tell you how they got them. I know how they got them. For five years, I've been all across this country, almost every state except the Northeast. We have been everywhere. I can't tell you how many people I've handed my credit card to, strangers, people I don't even know, who've taken my card and walked behind closed doors with it. I, I, I will never do that again. So here's what we're going to do. No more online filing income taxes. We're going to go to a human being, a person. Uh, and they're not going to do that. We're going to go to one of these tax services, or we're going to do it ourselves. A short form, we can do it ourselves. And the other thing is never let our credit cards out of our sight again. We're not going to do that. I'm not going to hand my card to anybody. Uh, I don't do fast food very often, uh, just maybe for a soda fountain drink or something. And and that's the only time I use it. I don't carry much cash, if any. And uh, so that's going to change. We're not handing my card. I'm not handing my card to a fast food person. Which, like I say, I rarely go to fast food. Uh, yesterday, I saw on YouTube where this, this person worked at a drive through restaurant. And what she was doing, she had her phone rigged up that when people paid with a credit card, as it's coming across to her, she was taking, she had a way of taking a photograph of that uh, card. So 
you go to uh, one of those drive through windows to get you a soda or something like that, you pay cash. Do not let your card out of your hand. Okay, that's that. I just want to let you know, you know, heads up, that's all I'm doing. Uh, this beautiful place we are right now, this is a BLM RV park. Unbelievable very rare very rare i'm going to show you this park we actually are going to stay here another week which is rare for us we typically stay a week but this is so beautiful it's so gorgeous for the price 63 dollars a week to stay with this 50 amp hookup with water and you got to dump over here and go dump for five bucks you got to pay five bucks because it costs a lot of money to pump that thing out but gosh, you got to see this, man. It's a beautiful day in McKay, Idaho. I'm going to show you this RV park. I'm so excited to show you this RV park, man. I am. <laughs> okay. We're seeing at the Joe T. Fellini Recreation Site. It's BLM. And this is what it looks like. This is McKay Reservoir right here. This reservoir was built in 1916. That dam over there was built in 1916. Back in the 30s, a bunch of people got together and tried to blow this thing up with dynamite, but it didn't hurt the main structure of the dam. They thought this dam was causing the drought, so they wanted to blow up the dam, but it didn't work. This is a wonderful place right here. They say, we have not seen him yet. We've been looking for him. A white horse roams these hills over here, these mountains. We have been looking for him, I promise you. I think that's called the Pioneer Mountains. And behind me, gee, I can't remember the name of these mountains. I think it's Sawtooth, but shoot, I can't remember. Anyway, I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna show you these sites. Nine bucks a night if you have America the Beautiful uh, passport card. First enter there, you can get us $80 a one-time fee. Ours has paid for itself time and time again. Plenty of room. Everybody's friendly, everybody's nice, nice place. Let's take a look, I'm look at some of the sites. But this is the place you come to to get away from it all. Get away from the big city. It's just beautiful. It's quiet out here. There's no one to bother. There's no, you don't hear any traffic noise from that road up there. There's no planes. There's no trains. Where You come here to relax, to walk in nature. And when you first come in, you come in off the road there. And here's your rules and regulations. Of course, I got a whole list of them. And you, you know what they are already. You don't need to read that. Here again, this is the fee. The fee, $14. And it's $9 if you got the America, the beautiful pass. These are the animals you are likely to see out here, especially this guy. These animals, these fish out here are stocked in the McKay Reservoir out here. They stock this every single year this reservoir. I've seen people drink, bring trout out of here. <laughs> that guy, man, they were so big. So anyway, what you do is you come up here, you get yourself one of these right here, and you put your, your pay in here, however long you're going to stay, and you drop it in there. It's that simple. And then you keep the little receipt, keep the little receipt right here, and then you post it on your RV site. First come, first serve. So you come here, and there's no little yellow sticker on the uh, on the RV site. We're in number 16. Uh, you pull in there, and then you mark down. You're going to stay there, and you put your bread in the in the little envelope, and uh, and you stay. As Camp Post, he's here. He's been doing this 11 years. He's here until uh, from May the first to October the 1st, and he's to handle any problems that may come up. If you have any questions or anything, he takes care of everything, and he kind of maintains the place. Uh, so, and we're staying right here in number 16. One of the things that's extremely interested about this, y'all, is that I don't care what size your rig is, you will fit in these pull-throughs. I got these big pull-throughs right here. We are 36 feet 
with a tow dolly with a car on it. So we're probably around 54 feet total. You can get one of the big diesel pushers in here, one of the 44 footers in here. If you're pulling a trailer, it'll come in here too. You got plenty of room, plenty of room here, right? Not only that, check this out, check this out now. Hold up, hold up, let me show you this. Okay, this is our site, and you can see we got plenty of room. Now, here on these, these are double sites, see? You can have, we, like yesterday, we had two people here. They had a fifth wheel here and a, a big old Class A right here, and they got her out here and visited and had a wonderful time. Yes, same over here. These are back ends. Plenty of pull-throughs. Look how much space on that pull-through. There's got to be, it's plenty of room, plenty of room, plenty of room. See, they got the little sticker on there. Okay, let's go down to the, to the lake. Oh yeah, BLM. Oh man, Bureau of Land Management. This is our land, this is your land, this belongs to us. And you know, if I may say, look how big this is here. Let's walk through it. My steps are two and a quarter feet. Let's count them, I'll count them. Okay. Uh, now I don't have to count them, it's 100 feet. Look at this guy. <laughs> He's got his firewood on his front of his truck like that. Too cool, man, I love it. Yeah, you got trash down here. Yeah, look how quiet it is. My feet keep my mouth shut. How quiet it is. Yeah. Oh, little chipmunk. We've been told that on the other side over there, there's a white horse that comes out and he's alone. He or she is alone and majestically roams these hills over here. We've been looking for him. We've been here three days and I've been looking for him. And I just want to see that, man. It's like seeing Pegasus or something. Oh man, cool, man. You come out here, you have a family gathering. Now look at here. Reserve for August the 26th. They're very likely gonna have like a family reunion or a family gathering out here. And it's just beautiful. No matter what the weather, they're under this, this great canopy here. I wanna tell you, I'm so excited to show this to you, you guys. Like I said, if this were a private park, you would expect to pay $1,000 to be here for a week, right? You know what it costs to be here for a week? $63 to be here for a week with 50 amp service. Oh man, right? Okay, let's take a look. Well, it's kind of rocky down there. Uh, I don't want to walk down there, but that's the lake, the reservoir actually. Look over there. Where are you, white horse? We're looking for you, baby. Yeehaw, go, baby. Groundhog. <laughs> yeah, prairie dog or groundhog. I don't know which one. <laughs> Let's see if we can see him. He got over in here. Huh? Where are you? Okay. All right. We can take a hint. Sleep tight. Blair's Landing. I think that's probably, let's go check it out. And check this out. When have you ever seen anything like this at an RV park? Huh? Look at this. You know what this is for? Loading trailers. I guess a wheelchair too. Let's go look at this uh, where you launch your boat. No swimming for boat dogs. Okay. You have to go out to... You can't swim from the boat dock, from that boat dock. But here it is. Look how big it is. Plenty of room to load your boat, unload it. Plenty of room. Oh, yeah. Big wide. This has got to be, I would say, 100 feet across. 100 as my daughter would say, it's a hundred feet across. Now let's go see what this is all about. 
I see a couple of storyboards down here. I haven't been down here yet. There are little chipmunks all over the place here. The big lost river, does it really get lost? I'm going to read this. It says, there are a few rivers in Idaho that get lost or disappear. Did you know that my McKay Dam and McKay Reservoir were built to capture two rivers before they became lost and disappeared. Where does the water go? Well, it's very obvious. It goes underground. <laughs> of course it does. <laughs> Let's see what this storyboard has to say. Alrighty. Oh, it's about the fishing history here. Uh, and, uh, oh, look, look. I would imagine it was uh, a great source of food here. There's one more storyboard way down here. Let's go take a look at it. Oh, let's see what this is. It says fish species in the reservoir. This is what I wanted to know. Look at this, the cutthroat, the white fish, the salmon, salmon out there, the brook trout and the rainbow trout. Look at that, y'all. You know what? I think I'm gonna get a fishing license. I've got the fishing equipment and go out there and catch dinner. I'm gonna see about that. I have a cousin who lives in Texas, and he was telling me about the great trout fishing in this area, this part of the country, you know, Idaho and, uh, and South Dakota and uh, Wyoming, Montana and all that. And, uh, you know, I didn't even think about that. It never even occurred to me, trout fishing. You mean I could have been trout fishing all this time? Uh, jetpack, Verizon jetpack for our internet. We use that for everything. Television, computers, phones, everything. And I was way down there by the lake and this phone picked up my Wi-Fi all that distance okay. away. Here we are, we got our outdoor set up here. When you're boondocking, we are, we are, we're not boondocking, but when you don't have sewer uh, connections, you go primitive, use your imagination. Oh, indeed. Let's see. You know, we've been having fires out here every night. So we decided to stay another week, and here's our $63 for the week with 50 amp servers and water, trash, and dump, if we want to pay the $5 a dump. I really think this is a very interesting shot with the rain over the mountain like that. It's a beautiful day here in Idaho. I wanted to come to the base of this mountain range and we did it. It's just beautiful. Yeah. This is Cedar Creek down here. There's no water in it. But I imagine there's times when there's just raging color of that rock. Look how quiet it is. Beautiful. Just beautiful. By the way, thanks for lunch, Sunday. It looks scrumptious. 
scrumptious. Scrumptious.